Hi, uh, we continue to the chapter 7 uh, with the subtopic animal tissues. Um, I'm Norhazin Jusso. Uh, we just uh, continue to the muscle tissue. Uh, basically, if we uh, look on this uh, diagram, uh, lots of uh, muscle uh, tissue is in it throughout of, uh, the human body. Okay, uh, and then the major function of the muscle tissue uh, to produce motion. Okay, to produce motion. And then if we go uh, briefly, uh, the other types of the tissue functions, uh, oh sorry, uh, for the function of the muscle tissue briefly, it can be also for the movement. Uh, also. Let's say we uh, use the muscle to run, uh, to walk or uh, to lift up our uh, leg or our hands eh? and then uh, also for the posture eh? and then also for the joint uh, stabilization okay and then also for the heat generation okay we have known already uh, if the muscle contracted you're going to be uh, use a lot of energy so which means that um, to, to produce the energy we have to uh, break down uh, or we have to use the metabolism and then it, the last we can produce the produce the heat and then uh, next is for the properties of the muscle tissue uh, is contractile okay excitable extensible and then also the elastic so for the muscle tissue types it can be divided into three okay the first is skeletal cardiac and the last is smooth so we go in detail for one by one so we go by one by one eh, for the uh, first we go for the skeletal muscle okay for the skeletal muscle uh, we can describe uh, it's quite long okay long and then uh, cylindrical cylindrical and then a uh, multinucleated and so lots of the nucleus okay you can see here this is a lots of nucleus uh, among the uh, cylindrical of the skeletal muscle and then uh, obviously uh, striation striation which mean that okay it just like a parallel uh, thread like here okay you can see Okay, this is one striation, this is one striation, this is one striation. Okay, this is one striation, this is one striation. So, this is, you can see, uh, obviously, uh, striated. Okay, and then uh, the function for the voluntary movement. Voluntary, which means that we move uh, the, the, the leg or the hand uh, based on our intention. Okay, and then also for the locomotion. Uh, and then for the uh, how we can manipulate uh, to the environment let's say we touch on the uh, hot plate so automatically we can we have to remove isn't it our hands uh, so how we can move our hands because uh, the muscle cell uh, or the skeletal muscle uh, is already received the um, information uh, from the nervous system so that's why we can manipulate and also the facial expression, how we can smile or how we can laugh, uh, uh, how we can uh, uh, use also for the uh, voluntary uh, control. And then the location, uh, of course, it can be uh, found uh, at the bones. Okay, and then occasionally to the to the skin. Okay, you get here. Okay, this is the example where the uh, skeletal muscle it just attach okay to the to the bone here and then for the cardiac muscle um it's quite a uh, branching uh, it's because it's cardiac so of course uh, the location it can be found in the only in heart uh, only in heart you have to remember okay uh, so how to describe uh, other than as a branching uh, is also uh, straighted but it's not too obvious compared to the skeletal but it's still uh, straighted and you can see here okay this is a one uh, straightion 
Okay, this is one stretching. Uh, and then it's quite branching. You can see it's, it's, the, it's branch, uh, branch. And then um, it consisted with the uh, uni uh, nucleated cells. It's not too many nucleus. So that's why in this microscopic uh, diagram, we can see it's not so many nucleus, isn't it? The one here and one here. So that's why we can see as uni nucleated cells. Um, and then it consisted with the intercalated intercalated this okay where is it the intercalated this okay here okay here okay this is the intercalated this uh, so the function uh, as it contracts uh, it used uh, to propel the blood uh, into the circulation we know already uh, the heart is to propel the blood or uh, for the circulation of the blood of course all of this um, function uh, it will happen in balloon in voluntary uh, without our intention okay so next for the smooth muscle smooth muscle um it can be described uh consisted with the uh spindle shaped cells okay with the central nuclei okay uh, you can see here there is no striation. Actually, even though it just like uh, a thread like similar as the uh, cardiac and the uh, skeletal, but this is not the striation. Right? This is not the striation. Okay. Uh, so that's why it's, there is no uh, striation. The striation we can see obviously uh, from one, one. Okay, this is the striation. But here, uh, lots of the um, line here, this is not the uh, striation. And then uh, the cells arrange uh, closely. Okay, it just closely arrange okay, to form as the sheet. Uh, and then uh, the main function is uh, to propel the substance. Uh, to propel the substance. For example, uh, any food molecules of urines or even a baby. Okay, so that's why it can be found. Uh, in our digestive tract or digestive system okay even in our stomach okay or even the small intestine uh, and also the large uh, intestine okay and also it can be found in, in the uh, uterus okay to propel the baby okay during the uh, giving birth okay so this is a basically how to show the overview of the three muscle uh, tissues. Okay, you can see here, this is the uh, skeletal muscle. Uh, you can see at around the uh, bone, uh, around the bone, uh, which is um, that okay, under the skin, uh, we can find the skeletal muscle. And then for the cardiac muscle, of course, only at the wall of the heart. Okay, you can see a uh, striation, okay, and have an intercalated disc, and then have a uninucleus, or uninucleated uh, cells. And then, the last is for the smooth muscle. Uh, you just imagine, if we talk about the digestive system, of course, uh, we can found the smooth muscle. Okay, there is no striation. Okay, and then uh, have also the uh, nucleus. And it's very close, uh, every cell is very close each other uh, to form the to form the sheet. So the, the, the main function is to propel the substance, uh, to propel the food, for example. And then the last uh, animal tissue, nervous tissue. Okay, nervous tissue. When we talk about nervous tissue, okay, we just relate to the nerve, isn't it? Nerve, nerve tissue, which means that it's referred to the to our a nervous system okay nervous system which means that at our brain eh, and also at our uh, spine spinal cord okay so the nervous tissue it consists of the uh, specialized signaling cells and eh, this is what we call as neurons okay neurons and the cells that can support eh, the neurons we call as the neuroglial cells 
Okay, the, the function of the nervous tissue, we can say the, in general, okay, to, to detect the internal and the, and the external stimuli and coordinates responses to that stimuli. Okay, this is the general function for the nervous tissue. Okay, next we go to the neurons. Okay, neurons, we can say as excitable cells uh, with a long cytoplasmic uh, extension. Okay, which means that it's equal to the axon. And then uh, it's used to send and receive the electrochemical signals or impulse. Okay, uh, it's just used to transmit, uh, to send uh, and transmit and receive uh, the impulse. There are three types uh, of the neurons uh, based on the function. Uh, sensory neurons it used to excite. Uh, for the any specific stimuli and then next is interneurons it used to integrate the sensory uh, information it just located at the uh, CNS, CNS or the central nervous system okay for the integration to for, for making decision okay and then uh, the decision or the uh, information will give uh, to the motor Neurons. So the motor neuron just relay the commands uh, that coming from the brain and also the spinal cord, which I already mentioned for the CNS, to the muscle and also to the gland as the E effector. Okay, as the E effector. Okay, so it means that it just respond to the stimuli. Let's say if we touch to the hot plate, uh, we uh, the the painful. Uh, already detected by the sensory neurons and then uh, whether we have to remove our hand or not it just integrated by the uh, interneurons and then it just transmit uh, if we have to move the uh, the hands uh, to the motor neuron so we can move uh, to the E factor which means that we have to use the muscle uh, for the to for the removal of the hands or lift up, lift up the hands. So next for the neuroglial cells or glial cells, okay, this mainly to help okay, nourish, insulate, and also replenish uh, the the neurons. Okay, there are three types: uh, astrocytes. Okay, this is the astrocyte, and then micro microglial. Okay. And then uh, it also consisted with the oligo, then dendrocytes. Okay, and this is all these three types uh, under the glial cells. So look at on this um, sl slides. It just to show how the microscopic of the uh, nervous tissue. Okay, you can see. Okay, actually this is the cell body of the neurons. Okay, and then um, here, okay, it can be the uh, the axon. Okay, uh, one one here, here one one here. This is the cell body of a of a neurons. Okay, so uh, and then here, okay, this is the supporting cell or the uh, the glial cells, uh, the 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 neuroglial cells, and uh, that used for to support uh, the neurons. Okay, so basically this is how the sh the, the the neurons uh, consisted with the axon terminal, and then uh, axon, and then here this is the cell body, and then protruding from the cell body we call as a dendrites, uh, dendrites, uh, dendrites. Okay, this is cell body axon, and then along the axon uh, it can be also uh, the the myelin sheath. Okay, myelin sheath. That cover that cover along the axons, eh? it used to uh, transmit the neuron eh? in uh, speedy, okay, or to speed up the uh, impulse uh, transmission. So of course here yeah, the function to transmit the electrical signals or the uh, impulse. Eh? So the location at the brain, spinal cord, and also all the nerve. Okay, that's it. And thank you.